Jump for a stun? Do you have immunity to stun, my friend? No, you don't. Prepare to be stunned, my friend. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Desperate Utok, The Desolation Part 4. I'm your host, Mefu. So last time we defeated all of our battles once again. We now need to find out if we're going to die in this chapter or not. Just a few days ago, a famous healer priest went missing. The peasants are saying Baritio of the scavengers bandits kidnapped him and he's being held somewhere to the southeast of you. Party size is 8. Or we can try and do this, which is the final wave. We did the first two waves and this is difficulty hard. Maybe we should give this a go since we're here already. So let's try and defend them. Let's see how big this wave. Oh my Jesus Christ, look at this shit. <laughs> the death pit's over here as well. It's pretty far away. I'm not sure I can make use of it. I'll put the footman here ready though. I'll start putting the monk over here as well. Let's see if we can have a go at this. It's probably going to be really difficult. Someone's going to die. Someone's going to die. Okay, let's place it like that. Uh, like that. So we've got Assassin, we've got the Berserker, War Monk, Footman, Blood Knight, and the Priest. Let's start battle, let's go. So thank you for coming, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I've heard what's going on here. We are warriors and fighting is our whole way of life. You seem to need any help you can get. Haha. <laughs> so let us help you. Oh, what a nice guy. Right, okay. So let's see what we can do. Um, so with this Assassin, I think I'm just going to place him here and prep his uh, crit already. Uh, I bring the war monk over here, ready to jump in and try and toss someone in a pit. Stop him there. Blood Knight, well, let's probably just bring him over here, ready to engage as well. I think we'll leave the berserker where he is. Possibly move him over here to help out. Uh, Footman, we're going to bring him here, ready to knock down anything that crosses this path. And then Priest, we're just going to put him behind the berserker, keep them quite close, and then turn. Here we go. Okay, so our first person's come up. He's pretty much fucked now, so I'm gonna knock him into the pit. If he doesn't move or someone else moves in front. Jesus, there's so many of them. This is crazy. That guy's just really overextended there though, so he should be fucked in a second. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay, nice helmet broken. Okay, so we are now the assassin. We don't want to go over this way, I don't think. We're gonna charge that assassin into the pit so i think we just need to move over here so we'll swap places there swap places again start smashing on this Ooh, range support as well i think so these guys are hitting as well yeah there we go slam dunk baby slam dunk okay i am now the war monk what is a play here not that i can see at the moment this guy charges i think he'll ram Hmm. Trying to think how I can really fuck this guy up. I'm going to leave it for now and wait. Okay, so we're on the Blood Knight. Can we get all the way over here? <laughs> I don't think we can. Um, I need to go over here anyway, though, I think. Just because otherwise everyone's just going to die. Oh, we can move all the way over here. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Nice, okay. Berserker's turn. Berserker's so squishy, I'm so scared to put him like anywhere. It's gonna get him hurt, but fuck it. YOLO. So he's down. Okay, focus ability unlocked. This cat's focus ability is now available for global use. Rent armor. When casting an ally, he will reduce armor protection on his target. Inflicted armor damage increased by 200% free charges. Wow, that's pretty strong actually. I like that. Okay, so Assassin, time to meet your maker, my friend. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> I love that ability, it's so good. Right, will this guy survive? No, I don't think he's worth life still. He's gonna to die to the range attackers. So let's put it onto the Berserker. Let's also put it onto the War Monk. And let's pull back a tiny bit to there. Okay, Assassin's are trying to flank in the back here. Okay, shot that. Nice, he's dead. I knew he was gonna be dead. Shit, they got so many ranged attackers. Fuck. This is crazy. Ooh. Wait a second. If I were to... I can see a play. If I move there, move there, then he can move back while knocking back into the pit. Then I need to... Oh. I was going to say I need to jump away, but now I can't. I'm kind of fucking stuck there now. And he's going to sandwich me. I think it was worth it though. In some ways. Um, yeah, I'll wait. Fuck it. I'm sandwiched. I'm sandwiched. I'm not in the good way. 
Um, okay, so assassin here. They're all out of breath. Trying to see what's best to take down here. The fucking archers are a pain in the ass, but I can't get to them because I've been blocked. The assassin's pretty strong as well. Maybe I should just start smacking on him. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to start going for the assassin. So how far can you move? Oh, we can move right up to here. Okay, wolf trap there. I'm going to smack on this guy. Okay, what we got? Slam dunk on that. I don't think we need help up here because the pits are really helping with the footman and the war monk. So I think we're going to keep the blood knight over here. Maybe even jump on the assassin. Try to decide what's better. Yeah, I think jumping on the assassin is pretty good play. Ah! Get into the back. Okay, so he's walking all the way around. Berserker's already got lifesteal on him. Does Berserker need Aegis as well? Or should I put lifesteal on someone else over here? I could actually lifesteal this, keep him alive a bit longer. I'll do that instead. Could even life steal that. I'm so scared of the range attackers though. They're so sneaky. So sneaky beaky. I'll keep them there so you can flex between this side and that side. Okay, Berserker's turn. I'll fill in the gap here. Um, this guy can ram, so he might knock me back. I get a ranged attack here if I do that. So I'm going to do that instead. So he smacked me. I smack him and heal up. And he should heal as well. Yeah, okay. So he survives a bit longer. So now I can move back here and actually ram the fuck out of this guy. See you later. Okay, Warmock's turn. Don't see many good plays here. Only one I can see is jumping here and getting a free stun on this. But then that puts me in a sandwich with this shit. Fuck. Um, I think the play might be to swap. Move here. Possibly chuck this guy back so I can get rid of one of these range attackers. Yeah. Okay, hopefully the Warmonk doesn't get too fucked there. He's sandwiched now. Okay. Ooh, he moved out the way of the pit. And he shot my fucking priest as well, bastard. I didn't even see that. Okay, he smacked me. So, right here, I don't really have any flanks I can use. They're holding this okay. This guy's about to die, though. Um... I think the best idea is just to smack that. Yep. Got crit as well. Okay, they're all getting pretty low, but so am I. Okay, he's dead. Trying to see where to move the priest where he's going to be the most useful. He's got two charges of life still. This guy's getting low. Berserker's only got one charge of life still. This guy needs to go and help. The assassin seems to be okay at the moment. Maybe put another life still onto this. Gotta be really careful of that shit though. Yeah, life's still onto that. Even though it's not mine, I don't want it to die. I'll bring the priest right back as well in turn. Okay, um. Trying to see. I think move back one. Slam dunk here. Should die to the bleed. Nope. Dies to that instead. Sweet. Okay, now he's blocking that as well, which is perfect. Uh, we'll go for this one here. There we go. Should be dead. Nice. Okay, sweet. Okay, I got some more feasts on him. So now I can actually move to here with the footman and knock him into that instead. See ya! Footman, literally one of my favorite classes at the moment. He's so fucking good. So strong. So strong. Um, so I think we got this cover. The, the footman and the warmonger are doing work over there, doing goddamn work. The Lord's work. Right, let's move here. Stabby stab. Okay, he's healing up a bit more, which is nice. Okay, our cannon follower's almost dead as well. See you later, cannon follower. Okay, he's healed loads. Uh, I think we're going to move here and try to get another life steal off if we can. So, life steal. Moving back. And turn, hope for the best. Okay, Warmonk's starting to get smacked on. Where do we deal with here? I think we're cool here. Uh, I'm going to jump into... Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to jump in on that, I think. Bam. Slam dunk. Okay. Okay. Trying to look for a play here again. Knocking him that way doesn't really help much. Um, If I move there, he'll have to move there. Does that give me any... Yes, it does. Okay, so if I move... Wait, does it? Does it, though? When's your turn? 
It turns miles away. Um, no, I think the best thing to do is to swap those two. And then just probably stab this guy. Yeah. Okay, and that means the war, the war monk's actually free not to be attacked so much. Um, how far can you move up there? I'm going to jump the war monk down. Just so he's completely out of range. He's going to get sandwiched though, which kind of sucks, but... He's got a lot of armor, so he should be okay. Right, what's going on here? I think if we move there, we swap there again, move here for the sandwich and probably kill this guy and move out the way at the same time because he gets double attack. When I backstab, we get to move again, right? Yes, I do. Okay. We're going to go over to here and have like the Berserker. Okay, Priest is healing again, which is nice. Um, life still onto the Assassin if I can get in range. Uh, how far can you move? You can only move back there and you can shoot from four tiles. So I'll move you there, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. And turn. Okay. I can start going for this archer. If I wanted to, but that means I'm open to this guy. How far can you move? Not very really far. If I move there. Can you move? Yes, you can move right in. Okay, so we'll undo that. We don't want to move right in. So I think we'll just start smacking on that. Just see if there's an opportunity for like a sandwich here. Nah, let's just keep it normal. Keep it normal. So we broke that. So we heal again. Okay, that guy's still surviving. It's good. Oh, I'm starting to be smacked on by everything. He shot the fucking war monk. Really? Really? Okay, if I move there, that's a sandwich, I think. Yep. So, jump there. Got a crit off. Okay. Oh my god, he's so damaged. I wonder... I think I need to get the fuck out of here though. I've still got life still on. Hmm. And I've got these up as well now. Yeah, I think this archer's gonna try and kill me, so I need to run the hell away. You need to walk all the way around, don't you? And you can shoot, what, one, two, three, four. You'd have to walk all the way around to get to me, I think. So if I move about there, I should still be able to make plays. I hope. And turn. Okay, so, I think we need to engage this guy. He's a bit annoying. Berserker's in trouble over here as well. Everyone's in trouble, actually. Um, okay, so let's, how far can you move? Not too bad. So knock you back. Keep you with the wall monk. Uh, Berserker has bone damage, but no healing. Let's see if we can get life steal on him again. Priest can be ridiculously low after this, though. Okay. Um, yeah, in turn. Okay, he's coming in to help, which is good. Assassin, assassin. Have you got life still? Yes, you do. Okay, we'll swap you out. We'll start stabbing this. Stabby, stab! Stabby, stab, stab. Okay, he's got bleed on him. He should be dead now. I need to block the berserker's path. Uh, trying to think of what the best way of doing that is. Probably staying where I am. Okay, he's just going over there. Oh my god. So achievement trait unlocked, angels packed. When taking non-lethal damage, are you not pure damage from falling, health costs from abilities, or entering a deadly hex, you will survive a 10 HP. Bleeding and poison statuses are removed. Angels packs effects will apply for the whole turn up to two times. Once per battle. Right, so in other words, it stops me from dying. I've gotten so low. <gasps> you critted? <laughs> Fuck, he's injured again. Jesus Christ. I can't keep him alive. These guys are bastards. Absolute bastards. Right, I think we're okay here anyway. This guy's gonna die to bleed. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I can't believe critted. I think I might have actually been okay. Right, so. The war monk needs to get the fuck out of here. I don't even think I can help anymore. It's getting too dangerous. Um, yeah, I need to get out of here. It's way too dangerous. He's coming for me. He dies to bleed. Okay, the assassin. I think we're going to maneuver ourselves over this way and start killing this. We get a crit off. It puts a bleed on him as well. 
I'm starting to heal a bit more on this, but I think I need to stay out of range. Uh, yeah, own turn. Okay, so can we knock that into the pit? I think we can. Yes, see you later. Another one bites the dust. Dun, 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 dun. Another one bites the dust. Right, so. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Do we have Aegis up? No. No, and you can move how far? Pretty damn far. Um, if I... I wonder if I can like move to here to bait him to go near these pits. Somehow. We'll see. Okay, I'm now the Blood Knight. I think these guys are okay. I need to stop this guy though. So, I think the best way of doing that is to jump here. Stop him from advancing anymore. Ooh, got an extra hit on that because I'm strong versus him. Ooh, nice, he's immobilized as well. He tried to charge me. This guy is not near any pits, damn it. Um, what can I do? What can I do? This guy's immobilized one turn. Yes, okay. I wonder if it makes sense to move there. Move here. No, 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 I'll be sandwiched. No, 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 I won't, I won't. Just move there. Stab this guy. Okay, I'm healing up quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna start repositioning over this way. In turn. Okay, I can't throw this guy into the pit, unfortunately. Uh, I kind of just need to stay there. I'm trying to think what else I can do. Not a lot. Could smack him, but doesn't really do much. Uh, I'll wait. Okay, my turn here. I wonder, is there any plays I can make? Swap there, move back, and that should be a knockdown to the pit. See ya! Oh, Footman MVP in this fight. Footman MVP. I can't, still can't believe I lost my Berserker again. I think it was like it, almost the same mission as well that I lost him in. I can slam dunk on that, but he's immobilized anyway, so he's not actually hurting anyone. I'm going to start dealing with this. <laughs> slam dunk. Okay. That was the hunter, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay, so he's actually free to do what he wants now. Still got these abilities here as well. Um, How far can you move? Pretty far. I'll move you there. He's going to get sandwiched in a second by this. Iron 10. Right. Stabby stab. Hmm. When's your turn? It's your turn next. You can't move past this guy. I think I'm safe to stay here. Okay. Right, so. <laughs> Let's move to here. Nope. Here. Hopefully he can't smack me downwards, because otherwise I'm dead. And turn. I can knock this guy down. Does it worth though? I don't think it does. Swap there. I'm not actually gonna engage this guy. He's getting annoying. Okay, so what can we do with this? Move back one and slam. <laughs> Okay, so we have double life steals. Everyone's got life steal. Might as well start throwing them out. So life steal. Life steal. Duelist maybe onto you. Rend armor. Who's attacking next? Yeah, you're probably gonna go for him. So I put rend armor on you as well. So you can start breaking down this crappy armor he's got. Uh, do I need another duelist or something? I could probably build an assassin. Yeah. Um, I've run down here ready to Aegis the War Monk, just in case I need to use it. And turn. So he's trying to run away. That guy's going for a completely different person, so this kind of sucks. I was hoping he would go for that, because he's got the bloody rend armor on him now. Um, let's go for stab. Nice, that's all this one as well. OK, 
Okay, so Warmonk's turn. I will move. So hard to get close without dying. <laughs> really difficult. Maybe there. And turn. Okay. Don't know who that guy's going for. I think I'll just. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'll just move here and move him up. So he's engaged. Okay, we'll move this way. A slam dunk. Okay, we'll put Aegis on the War Monk just in case I mess this up. Okay, took away a lot of my HP. Trait Painful Healing learned. On taking normal damage, heal adjacent allies by some amount instantly. Okay. I like that. I like that. That's strong. Okay. And turn. So now with the War Monk, this guy shouldn't have any armor. So that should be a guaranteed crit. And this guy can't get close. Which means I should be able to stun it. There's a stun. Nice. Okay. So trait God's blessing learned. When maximum focus is reached, apply Aegis to self. Okay. Pretty strong traits I'm getting here. Uh, you out of... No, you out of stamina, not you. I might as well switch. Go for some stabs. Stabby stab. Okay, he's out there. So I got another trait on the War Monk. Brother in arms. Support your ally assist attack. Chance 1% or shielding chance 0. Chance are based on progress and crypt gear. For shielding, shield and heavy armor is best. For attack assistant, sword is best. When at maximum progress, the assist attack is a critical hit. Progress 1 of 20. Okay. Mass killer I got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hoorah. Um... I'm moving close, but I won't do much. Okay. Okay. Don't know who he's going for. Probably the priest. So I'm just going to move the priest over here. And turn. I'm going to go for a slam dunk. Oh, he's got no armor left as well, so he took quite a lot of damage from that. Um, I think going there is the best play. Because then I can come from behind and see you later, alligator. Okay, victory. So we only got our berserker injured there. But kind of sucks. Oh, what's this? After all the enemy waves have been repelled, the survivors expressed their gratitude. They gave you these items along with other supplies. And one of the warriors who joined in the last battle wants to join your party on its adventures. So we've got rare silver chainmail. A weapon of exceptional quality from the ancient... A weapon? Okay, okay. I think that's an armor, but whatever. And now this is a weapon of exceptional quality. So rare silver sword. Got more trillium. Got two medicines. Nice. And uh, Lep Lol, the bounty hunter, Axe, has joined your party. I wonder if you're stronger than Berserker or not. Um, so more trillium, more life essences. Light for weakening criticals. On critical unblocked hit targets, weaken for two turns. So weaken attack damage reduced by... On mm -hmm. normal hit, apply acid to a target's armor. Armor protection of all pieces decreased by 35% at start of target's turn. Can't break armor. Duration three turns, new application of acid refreshes duration. Then we've got on critical unblocked hits, reduce target speed by 15, and also the bleed again. I think we'll just pass on this. I'm actually getting so much life essence now, but, you know, whatever. Right, so the Berserker has tons and tons of things on him. Like, I'm sure I should probably keep him. And then this guy has Siphon Power. Upon delivering a killing blow, increases total damage by this mutator permanently by 1%. But he doesn't have the three times shatter, I don't think, because the Berserker here has this. On hit, inflict three times the armor damage. 250% shatter chance. And this guy has 250% shatter chance, but no chance of doing three times the damage. And his focus ability is quite strong, actually. Gain bonus damage equal to 6% of your base unmodified damage at the cost of 30% current HP for one hit only. Bonus damage stacks. And then he doesn't really have anything else. Right, so we've got a few level ups to do. So let's up the Blood Knight. Let's go for one in there. Maybe start pumping a bit of vitality to some more survivability. Uh, War Monk will bring the agility up again. Maybe grab some more vitality on this as well. Then onto the Assassin. Assassin's pretty squishy. I'm going to go one in there and two vitality again. Just bring them up a bit. Because um, this engaging strike costs me 25 stamina each time. I've only got, yeah, not very much. How much does that cost? 40. That'd be 75 plus that'd be 100. I need to get stamina up to 100 so I can at least engage and strike twice. So this needs to be pumped a lot. He's got armor anyway, so I'm not so fast about his HP. So bring that up. Um, Berserker. 
feel like Berserk could do with more HP as well. Uh, maybe put one in there and two in Vitality. Then on the Priest, I think we're just going to go all Vitality because he doesn't really do anything else apart from that. So I think that's it. We just need to heal up Berserker. So heal. There we go. So he's now being healed up. Recovery five days again. Christ. Okay, I'm going to make sure he doesn't die for another five days or he's permanently dead. Oh yeah, I forgot about the items. God damn. Okay, so rare silver sword. Who's the swords again? Uh, silver? This is steel. 101 damage, 82. Okay, so I can swap that out. And it gives me... Ooh, a bit more damage. 95 damage, okay. I'll keep that one just in case I get another assassin for some reason. Rare silver chainmail. Um, that's probably you. Can anyone else use a chainmail? No one else on my party uses armor apart from the footman. Okay. Um, I've got two of these. I might as well destroy one. I'll keep a hold of the sword for now. And range support. I still haven't got range character. So I'm just going to hold on to that for now as well. Right. So after another successful battle. Let's try and find another one. No battle is safe from us. No battle is safe. So we've got the priest down here. We don't really need another priest. I'm going to try and skip this if I can. Yeah. Ignore for now. Your armorer, Navriel, has improved the quality of helm equipped by... Ooh. Jutsu the Footman to finally craft a plus two silver helmet. Huzzah. Let's have a look at that quickly. Ooh, that's pretty damn strong. Plus two. This guy's doing work. Okay, so let's have a look. We got Hostile Beast. I haven't faced them yet. Pike size nine. This is Beast one nine. This is apparently Vampires. They're pretty hard. Fuck that. Swampers. Pike size nine as well. So maybe we should try the Beasts out. Village Defenders. Okay. So prepare to fight, you've arrived. You can now attack the beast, a town watch, and capture the village, or just leave it for the time being. Difficulty normal. You can still manage a party and prepare this battle via the menu on the right of the screen. Okay. Engage to battle. That's what we got. Holy shit, look at them. They're creepy looking. And why is my war monk out in Tokyo? What's going on with this? So that was he human sacrifice? <laughs> human pawn? Bait? Why are you in Tokyo as well? Hmm. What is the positioning with this, honestly? What is this positioning? This is such a weird positioning. Okay, let's bring our warm up back. Let's just bring everyone over here and start ganging up on that guy. So, yeah. Is it? Is it? And. I don't think there was really many opportunities to throw here, apart from obviously there. Hmm. Hum. Okay, so how should we approach this guy? What can he do? Oh, it doesn't show me just yet. Let's bring the berserker over here. Right, one, two, three, five. We put five there. No, nope, wait, this is the blood knight. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that everyone? Or is there someone out in like the middle of them? No, I think we're good. Okay. Start battle. To battle! Adventurers over here, we've been bound and shackled in this oil for a slow and torturous death. Help! Please eliminate the enemy before I'm bored alive. Yep, we'll do. I'll get right on that. <laughs> I'll get right on that. As soon as I kill this guy. Okay, so should we go for a stab? Yeah. Stabby stab. <gasps> he strikes back. Maybe I should read his shit first. Okay, unbreakable. Increases resistance. Panic. Okay. Got his immunity to stun. Whew. You are immune against pulling, grabbing, lifting, bashing. But not gets ramming. <laughs> no one's immune to ramming, my friend. No one's immune to ramming. Okay, reflexive skin on taking normal damage performance. Yeah, that's what we just did. A normal melee or melee normal critical hit and retaliation buff. And every seven days you need eight flesh. If you don't have enough, okay. Increases resistance. Okay, so doesn't really have much he can do apart from what he just did. So if we were to position here or maybe here, yeah, I think that's a better play. Why are you hitting him? Fuck. What is this? What the fuck? What was that? Um, okay, so let's move here for the crit. Please don't hit the assassin again. <gasps> fuck, I actually thought he was going to do it then. Jeez, talking about taking out a lot of people. Okay, so strong versus beast, apparently. Chance of double hit. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, one beast down. That was just one of them. And look at the HP already of the Assassin and the Berserker. Okay, so a swap out twice. Oh, we're going to do it once. Once is good. Um, 
Can I actually bring the priest up? Put him there. I might as well start casting lifestone to the assassin already. And onto uh, the blood knight. Okay. Yeah, in turn. So they missed their turn there or something? Is that what happened? Critical strike, three times the charges. Okay. I'm just going to wait for them to come to me. Uh, so I'll wait that out. I could actually start positioning myself near that pit as well. And turn. Move the footman up. Uh, yep. Keep the priest in the back. That's the berserker. I'll move him there. Maybe there? No, I'll leave him there. Okay, here they come. Okay, they're taking damage. They just got tongued as well. Extremely tongued. Extreme tonguing action, I might say. Right, um... They're still gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to kill all these in time. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder how safe it is to just go there. It's probably better to go there, though. Wait, 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 wait. Double check. Leeching criticals, okay. Fleshy, okay. Right, no retaliation shit. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Right, I am now the War Monk. Jump for a stun. Do you have immunity to stun, my friend? No, you don't. Prepare to be stunned, my friend. <laughs> Do you trait patience? After waiting, the next attack will be critical. Does not trigger. Oh, that's good to have on the monk. Nice. What's that? Mm, I guess I could stop this guy from harassing me. What do you do? This guy's immune to stun, I think. No, pulling, grabbing, lifting, and bashing. Is bashing a stun? This is stun. Okay. <laughs> Overwhelming blow. A normal attack for damage done in a single hit was at least 35% of the target's max HP. Stun the target. When maximum focus is reached, heal 24% of max HP instantly. With your broad build and long reach, you have 95% chance to block arrows. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. I don't have any range attackers. <laughs> I wish I had some fucking range attackers. Right, um, I think I should make a jump. No, 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 no. Is that a play? Do I sense a... You can't... You're not mean to ram, are you? But not against ramming. I told you no one's immune to ramming, ever. Um, okay, so let's go for a slam dunk. Slam dunk! See you later. <laughs> I bet that guy was really strong as well. Trait murdering sense learned. Triggered when any enemy dies, character gains additional attack. Okay, pretty strong. Alright, we're now the priest. Who needs healing apart from you? I'll probably put it onto the berserker anyway, because he always needs it. Uh, do you have healing on? Yes, you do. Um, you're getting life regen. Yeah, we have everyone's cool for now. Yeah, I think everyone's good. Let's move him up a tiny bit. Okay. Berserker's time. Um. Not really sure what to do, actually. Obviously, we're going to fucking destroy this guy and molest him. So that's obviously on the list. This guy needs to walk around to get to that. What do these guys do? Poison Criticals. Right, of course they're a ranged attacker, yeah. That's cool. Um, flash Consumer Talks. Upon receiving damage, a spread Poison Cloud, adjacent unarmored characters. Oh, Christ. So, I have no range attackers, so every time I smack into it, it's going to poison me. That's, that's fantastic. Fantastic. What if I need to go over here and start dealing with that? I'll bring him over there anyway, and turn. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll move there. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> um, what do you do? Weakening criticals. Critical awareness, still walt. Shatter. You don't have any retaliation. Could you be safe? Can you be rammed as well? I mean, no one's immune to ramming. Oh, you're immune to stun though. You pretty much mean to everything apart from, yeah, ramming. Okay. Um, 
You're also going to crit three times in a row. Whenever you hit next. I'd rather it be him than me. So I'm going to move here and start stabbing this. Okay. Okay. Mm. You know, I didn't realize I could flip here. See you later, alligator. <gasps> Woo. That, that was a hit. These guys don't fuck about, they're the true archers. Um, I think I need to take these guys on last because of the poison. So I'm going to send the Blood Knight over here. Fucking scary as hell. Um, let's put life stall on him. Bring the priest back. Berserker's turn. I'm scared of him dying. Because he's at a high capacity or chance or likelihood to die. Okay. Yeah, this is even there for now. Um, hmm. I could ram. Let's try and stun him. Can you be stunned? Doesn't say you can't be stunned. Ram! No, you're not stunned. Okay, cool. Oh, it's because of the armor, hasn't he? That's why. I think. I hope. I can't even engage on that because he's just going to kill me with the poison, I think. At least my jam is on now. Helps me think. My jam. Let's bring this bad boy over here. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Uh oh. Well, shit. They're touching me. They're touching me. Um, that wasn't cool. That was really not cool. And that was also a bad play as well. Hopefully this thing can't shoot me. Oh, I got life still anyway. Okay, let's put it on there. Poisoned three turns. Inflicts 50% max HP damage each turn. That's going to hurt. End turn. Right, Warmonk. What can you do for me? I wonder... Can I bait this guy to attack me here? How far can you move? Oh. I mean... That's extremely tempting. You mean stuns anyway, aren't you? Yes, you are. No, wait. Yes, you are. Um, um, yeah, I'll try and bait this. Let's see if he'll take the bait and move this way or something. Or there. Either one, he can go in one, either pit. I think. And then. Okay, sneakily smack him in the bum. It's a light axing in the bum. Boom! Shit, he realized. Have another. Ow, okay, okay, okay. You win. <gasps> no, he wins, actually. Oh. No. That's not cool. Can I, like... Okay, so he's... Shit. That's all I'm going to say about this. Right, um... <laughs> Charge. Stunned. Okay, nice. Oh my god, he's going in the pit. What about this situation over here? Someone's going to die. Stabby stab. Oh Christ. Um, jump here. See you later, my friend. I'm not sure who's in more danger right now, the Berserker or the Blood Knight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Berserker. Uh, what's this? On next lethal damage, survivor 10 HP. If you're equipped with a melee weapon and not stunned, strike an adjacent enemy with full stamina, full mending, and 100% life still once per battle. 
Right. The beasts are very strong. That's what we've realized today. From today's battle <laughs> by HP. Please don't fucking kill me. You still got life storm, don't you? No, you don't. Should I do that? Will I die? Fuck, I've already moved. Shit. And ten. Poison is slowly fucking killing me. <laughs> you know, this really sucks. Okay, let's jump here. Ah! Ah, that fucking hurts. If I smack him, he can't smack me back, right? Move! <gasps> you did not see that coming. I need the footman down here. I should not have sent these guys to battle this. Um. Fuck's sake, I need, I need him over here, but I need to deal with this still. I think the monks have to do all that by himself. Shitting hell. Even an assassin could die here. What do you do again? Critical awareness. The first three strikes are always a critical. Yeah, I could actually die here. Assassin's not so bad if he gets injured though. Because he's not normally in the front. Yeah, fuck up, I'm doing it. Ooh, I can strike again. Ooh. Yeah. Stop dying, damn it. I'm trying to save you. Motherfucker. Yeah, ooh. He was a feisty one. Um. Berserker's definitely dead if I don't do something here. Do, do, do something here. How much HP is that? <laughs> Do I? Oh, I've got 3 HP left. Okay, and turn. Okay, monk. Show him what you're made of. Okay, stun, nice. And I'm poisoned. Someone's gonna die here. It's gonna be you, friend. On the next turn. <gasps> okay, I think I'm dead to poison. Um, the turn's coming up quite soon. I'm trying to think of a way out of this. I don't fucking see one at all. Running back. End turn. Is, is this the play? Is this the play? I should have put Rend on that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> My fucking blood knight's now injured. You absolute bastard you are. You stupid fucking crab fuck. Right, okay, so... You know, you, you made me angry. I'm gonna rend armor. Gonna walk up to you and gently, gently caress you with it. Stab. Stab. Poison this. Okay, you really poisoned me badly, actually. Poison this again, though. Oh, I'm so murderous. Like, murdering sense. Okay, and turn. And turn. Back to the wall, monk. And we're gonna go for a Hadouken. Fuck, this game takes no prisoners, that was insane. If I had like a ranged character, I probably still would have lost someone, but I like to think that he wouldn't. You captured the site, now all its valuables and resources are yours. You said two of two of the villagers, there's two of them? I thought there was only one. Oh, there was two, yeah. And as a ward required 36 light, oh great, uh, yeah. Fucking love this stuff, love it, one of my five a day. Uh, it's nothing to do with the fucking injuries I got going on or anything. Um, okay, it's Trillium, Life Essence, Preparation, I'm Lee, no. Ooh, poisonous. Critical, unblocked hit, enemies poisoned. You know what? I've got so much life essence, I don't give a fuck. I'm taking that. When the battle begins, your first three strikes are always a critical. Um. 
Who would that be useful on? When adjacent unit's ally or enemy dies, heal for 16% of your max HP. Within two turns, gain bonus damage of 15% of your current damage. That's not bad. Bleeding criticals, uncritical, unblocked hit. I'm actually going to take this. Fuck it. 88. Thank you. Thank you all. Bleeding criticals, fuck that. Um, yeah. So let's just equip these onto people. Assassin, how much should I put your stamina up by? Should I give you more vitality? You seem to be attacking enough so far. Yeah, let's give you more vitality. Right, Flesh Eater, let's put on the Blood Knight, make him more tanky. Um, so, reduce my HP by a fair amount, by about 61. But, every time I kill something now, it's going to heal him. Poison's Critical to put on the Assassin, because he's guaranteed to crit most of the time. And multiple times as well. I think it stacks. I think. Um, Rest Steel Sword. Did I really just get the same thing? Rest Silver Sword. Oh wait, no. Did I get that? I don't know what I got anymore. Anyway, we need to heal up this injury. Health injury, 52%. Four days? Oh, oh. That's going to last forever. Fuck me. And this guy's got two days left, I think. Yeah. Christ. And with that, that is the end of part four. Like, subscribe, and we'll see if we can heal up the two people that are injured in part five. Take care.